So it's a 4th of July Pez. This sold for $120 plus shipping. Uh, most Pez are bread and butter. I'm just going to be straight up. Lots of them are worth like next to nothing. You can put them in lots, but hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about 4th of July bolos. Um, so you guys have seen me do videos on Easter, Halloween, Christmas. Uh, a lot of holidays have big money bolos because people search for those items to decorate their homes. So in this video, we are going to talk about the 4th of July. So let's get started. All right, the first item here are these um, popcorn decor. I don't know if you guys know about these, but these can sell for pretty good money. Um, Halloween does well also and Christmas. So if you see these, definitely look them up. Some go for more than others, of course, um, just like anything else. Some are gonna be bread and butter, some are gonna be big money. These actually sold on auction for $50 plus shipping. You've got the um, flag for, let's see, it says rare, vintage rare one-star flag popcorn decor for Memorial Day, 4th of July. I know a lot of you listen and don't uh, watch like if you're driving, so I will make sure that I get these titles for you all. All right, the next one. The title says 1992 Skeleton Motorcycle, 4th of July, America, USA, all over print shirt. So um, it's 1992. So that would be considered vintage. It doesn't say anything about single stitch, but this is the uh, tag. And it it is not, it's made in Honduras, I think. Yeah. And right here you can see is where it's um, dated. It says Ellis. DTs, it looks like. And this sold on auction for $72 plus shipping. I'm guessing with this one, a lot of times the all over prints um, the, that cover the entire shirt like this, definitely look those up if you see them. The next item is these vintage American flag, red, white, and blue overalls, patriotic vintage. So these are super fun. These vintage denim uh, bibs, they can go for big money, even if they're not red, white, and blue. But these are super, super fun. Uh, they ended up selling on auction for $85 plus shipping. But if you see the vintage Liberty brand, definitely look those up because they, again, can be a bolo, even if they're just all denim. The next item here is this vintage Napco 1956 month of July birthday angel bell patriotic USA fourth figurine. So this is a series and let me show you here. This is what um, it looks like on the inside. That is how it's signed 1956. How amazing is that? Cute little uh, figurine here. This sold on auction for $90.99 plus shipping and it had 25 bids. The next item is this Anna Lee Patriotic 4th of July plush Uncle Sam doll. It seems like the Uncle Sam, um, like the postcards and different things like that, they have a tendency to do pretty well. So if you see anything like that in that print, definitely look it up. This is what the tag looks like on an Anna Lee doll. They are typically dated and their faces, once you find one, you are going to recognize them. They are super easy to recognize once you know what to look for. Um, it looks like he's got a little issue here on his thumb. This still sold for $97 plus shipping. All right. This is a vintage 4th of July. Um, it's a noisemaker. It's a handheld tin noisemaker, which reminds me, uh, last weekend I picked up a vintage Halloween noisemaker and I cannot find any comps on it. So I'm kind of excited about that one, hoping it's going to do well. But um, noisemakers, especially Halloween, it can do really, really well. Fourth uh, of July looks like they're a bolo also. This one sold for $104.49 plus shipping. 
All right, now we have another noisemaker, but this one is different. Um, and most of the people are using rare in their titles, which I shy away from unless I can't find anything like it, or maybe there's one or two, but I typically use HTF, which means hard to find. But this is a horn. So it's, um, I think it's still metal here and you can see here, yep, or tin, but it's got the red, white, and blue. Patriotic. Horn 109.54 on that one. All right, the next one is this Pez dispenser. Again, Uncle Sam, no feet. Um, typically, the Pez that go for big money have no feet. I did a video a while back on Pez and things to look for for the ones that are higher dollar. It is an older video, so um, if you check it out, definitely maybe check and make sure those things are still trending. I think with the Pez, it's probably gonna you know, change a little bit, but some of those older ones are still gonna be desirable, if I had to guess. Haven't done a video on these for quite a while. All right, so it's a 4th of July Pez. This sold for $120 plus shipping. Uh, most Pez are bread and butter. I'm just gonna be straight up. Lots of them are worth like next to nothing. You can put them in lots. But some of them, without the feet, the really old ones, they are highly collectible and can go for big bucks. So the next item, oh, oh yeah. Okay, so one thing that you can do to see if an item sold, if you're new to my channel, you haven't seen this, if you've been here a while, I try to show you guys this because I feel like it's a very important tool um, when you're researching. So the reason I looked this one up is because it only had one bid. So I was a little bit concerned that maybe it didn't get paid for. Um, but I went into the feedback and you can see right here, feedback was left and um, $120. So is that what that was? Yeah, $120. So that is the correct one. And it looks like they sold a Disney Goofy Pez dispenser for $52. So Disney Pez. All right, let me know in the comments if you would like to see another video on Pez dispensers, an updated video. And um, if I get enough people that say yes, I will do another video. Postcards. Um, I recently did a video on postcards. So we know that Halloween and Christmas uh, do really, really well. Some Easter do really well. Um, but there's some others that really surprised me from that video. So definitely go check out the postcard bolo video. This one is a vintage 4th of July embossed postcard, Uncle Sam's birthday. So again, we've got Uncle Sam popping around again. And you can see right here, it does have writing on the back and the stamp is there and it's dated, which I think it's so cool, 1909. And this sold for $135.50 free shipping. The next item is this vintage black cat fireworks porcelain sign. So. Most of you know porcelain signs can be big money. It's going to depend on the content on the front of the sign, the age of the sign, lots of variables that go into play, but this one is definitely cool. It sold for $137.52 plus shipping. The next item we have here is this vintage patriotic 4th of July Washington cherry tree candy container box made in Japan. Um, I look at this and I don't even know what I'm looking at, but apparently it is a candy container. So we're gonna look here at the box and you can see it is um, made in Occupied Japan. And I have heard people say that Occupied Japan goes for more money. I don't know if that's true or not. If anybody has any feedback for me in the comments, that would be awesome. But what a cool little candy container. $145.17 plus shipping for that one. The next item here are these vintage 1940s patriotic 4th of July spirit of 76 flag brooch pin World War II sweetheart fig figure ah that word I can't say it figural did I say it figural okay um it's a brooch and very very cool look how neat it is um I don't know if I would have seen this if I would have had any clue that it would be so valuable. It's got paint loss, but really a cool piece. This sold for $146.50. So the next item that sold is this Anna Lee. So this is another Anna Lee. This is the 1972 Democratic Donkey. 
4th of July. And let me show you, let me see if I can get a picture of the tag. Oh, they've got the original bag. That's kind of cool. Huh, did they not do a picture of the tag? That would be very surprising, but it doesn't look like they did. I think I can see it right there on the neck. So if you're going to sell one of these, I highly recommend that you um, include a picture of the tag because it's going to give the date. And I think that's really important that people see that. But it still sold for $152.50 plus shipping. The next item is this Anna Lee 16 inch elephant. Again, 4th of July, fun little character, but you see how their faces are painted? Super, super easy to recognize. Um, I have sold quite a few Anna Lee. I've never had a, one go for over $100, but I've done pretty well with some, and a lot of them are bread and butter. This one sold for $153 plus shipping. The next item is this blow mold. Again, blow molds are big money. Uh, Halloween, especially Christmas. Amazing. Uh, the nativity set. Wow. I keep seeing people in my Facebook group paste, posting about um, nativities that are get, they're getting for great deals. Now, one reason I shy away from these is because I hate shipping them. So if anybody has any shipping tips for blow molds if you, and you want to share, go ahead and drop that down in the comments. This guy sold for $140.50 plus shipping. And again, it is an Uncle Sam blow mold. Okay, we have a vintage 1930s hand-stitched quilt, red, white, and blue, 4th of July. So whether or not this is really for the 4th of July or not, I don't know, but it definitely can be used for that based on the color uh, colors. So really, uh, quilts are they just go for crazy money, some of them. Uh, they got their foot in the photo there. Um, looks like, okay, some stains, please see photos. Now, I talked about using um, this area to disclose any issues with your item. And one thing that I noticed is when you're listing from your phone, this does not show up. So, um, I recommend that you draft it or even publish it from your phone, but then go in on a laptop and add that information so that when people are looking at the main page, it's right there in their face um, because you don't want to get an item not as described. A lot of people don't read the descriptions, unfortunately, and if it's right here, they're going to see it. So if you're a new seller, if you're a seasoned seller, I think that's a really important thing to be doing. Um, this quilt sold for $202.50 plus shipping. And I think even if this didn't say 4th of July in the title, this quilt probably would have sold for big money because quilts are just going for big money right now. The next item is this umbrella. It's a vintage antique 4th of July American flag umbrella parasol. How cute is this? But I want to point out the condition. The condition is, I don't want to say awful, but it's its not in great condition. It's got holes. It's got stains. Let me know in the comments, would you have picked this item up? And if so, would you have expected it to sell for this much? Uh, $205.83 on this item. And that was an auction also. All right. The next one here is this Teddy Roosevelt Bear 4th of July patriotic rare 1907 vintage postcard. So here we have the back, you've got the date, you've got the stamp and the writing here. This sold for $710. Check that out. What do you guys think? Is that wild or what? Um, let's go in to the bid history. There were only two people bidding on this item. Uh, they started the auction at $24.99. And how happy was this person? I'm guessing really, really happy. Uh, the person that bought it had th uh, 3,413 feedback. So I'm guessing that item probably got paid for. That's another thing you can do is go in and look at the feedback of the person that won. If it's super low, maybe it went unpaid. If they have high feedback, they're probably not going to uh, risk their account by not paying. So 
This is just a short little fun video. I do want to say that I am rearranging my entire workspace. I have my jeans up high now and I'm sitting in a chair. <laughs> I'm so excited to be sitting in a chair. Um, I've just been putting this off, but I got some big shelves and I'm super, super excited. And maybe I'll give you guys a preview once I get it all figured out. Um, it's a work in progress, but uh, needed to get these videos done tonight because I need to post this one tomorrow. So if you're new here, my name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies. I talk about Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. Um, I got lots of category videos just like this. And if you'd like to check those out, there's an entire playlist. And I also talk to you about items that I sell on eBay. I sell on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, sometimes Etsy and Facebook, but um, eBay is my main, my main platform. I've been selling on eBay since 2005, and I absolutely love my job. And I've been on YouTube for, I think, a little over three years. So, ah, crazy. Uh, thank you for being here. I would appreciate it if you subscribed, if you're new here. And let me know in the comments how you found the channel, even if you've been here a long time or if you're brand new, let me know down there in the comments. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I didn't do that right. Thanks for watching. I just wanted to come back on here and say, I've been looking all over my table, looking on the floor. I'm like, where is my phone? Where did my phone go? And I'm like literally talking to myself, trying to figure out where my phone is. I just recorded and it's stuck in my ring light. It's not on my table. It's not on the floor. I didn't drop it. I didn't lose it. I'm recording with it. So I just wanted to come back on here and just share that nonsense with you. Thanks for watching.